Now we've had a little bit of snow, as I'm sure you will have realized. A lot of people have been asking us about winter tires and asking if we could do a winter tire test, which we'd love to do. The problem is it takes quite a long time to organize, at which point the snow will have gone. We'll have all forgotten about the problem until it happens again next year. So instead, we're just going to do an impromptu test today with these two completely identical BMWs. The uh, 6 Series uh, has got some normal summer tyres and this uh, 1 Series here has got some continental all-weather tyres. Simple test, so you can make the most progress in this car park full of fresh snow. Off you go, Vicky. No, come on, off you go, Vicky. Right, I'm going to go and help. Right, Andy, you're going to have to help as well. Oh, she's off. Right, clearly summer tyres are useless in snow. Let's try the all-weather tyres on the 1 Series. Now obviously this is a little bit unfair because the 1 Series is lighter, it's got slimmer tyres and this is a manual car so it is easier but I'm hoping it will make a point. Look at that. No dramas at all. Bye! See? I mean it's not brilliant but uh, I am at least making progress. So maybe completely fresh snow is a bit of an extreme test. But this, though, is representative of what we've seen over the UK over the last couple of weeks. Trying to turn out from a side road onto a main road, slightly uphill, untreated roads. I reckon the 6 Series is really going to struggle. OK? Yeah, I mean, we see it's still making progress, but lots of wheel spin. And Vicky's struggling to keep it in a straight line. I mean, it's hopeless. I mean, clearly, a rear-wheel drive BMW isn't ideal for the conditions, but that's the point we're trying to make, is that if you get the right tyres, you still can use it, I hope. Let's see how these Continental cold weather tyres do. Right, we're starting on an incline. I'm going to start it first. I've got the traction control in the intermediate setting to allow a bit of slip, which the wheels are doing there, but they are finding some purchase. We go up to second gear, nothing coming, and just look at that. I mean, there is some wheel spin, but it's just so much more control. I'm mean, straight out, no dramas, no opposite lock, no problem. Now, clearly, this has been far from a scientific test, but hopefully it's gone some way to showing the advantages of having the correct tyres on for the conditions. Now, I know what you're thinking. The weather we've had at the moment has been pretty exceptional, and usually we only get a few days snow every year. But the crucial thing is we're not talking about snow tyres here, just cold weather tyres. And the fact is, as soon as the temperature gets below 7 degrees, you're better off being on those than summer tyres. That's whether it's snowing, icy, a bit frosty, or, in fact, if the roads are just damp. In the UK, though, they only account for less than 1% of the market share, whereas in Europe, it's actually a legal requirement to have them fitted during the winter months. I think it's about time we woke up to the advantages of winter tyres. Not only would it make the roads safer, it would mean the whole country wouldn't come to a grinding halt the first time you had a bit of bad weather.